Welcome to math. Today we're mentally finding 10 more and 10 less. Now throughout our year in first grade, we had discussed how to find 10 more and 10 less using a number grid. Today, we're going to work on mentally adding 10 more and 10 less. Mentally means to do the math in your head. And this takes practice. So if I was to give you the number 45, and I asked you to add 10 more, you would jump down the number grid, and you would land on 55. If you were at 44, and I asked you to take away 10, you would jump up, and you would land on 35. So let's think about this. When you're mentally finding 10 more and 10 less, it's important to think about your digits. So to do that, I'm going to explain on the place value map. So I gave you the number 45. If I was to put the number 45 on my place value map, the 4 would be in the 10s and the 5 would be in the 1s. If I asked you to add 10 more to 45, Again, we know that we're going to drop down, and then the number is going to be 55. But what changes? Does the tens digit change or the ones digit change? Yes, if you said the tens digit changes, you're correct. So we were at 45, we're dropping down to 55 because we're adding 10, and the 4 changes into a 5. The ones stays the same, but the 4 changes into a 5. So if we were to add 10, our number would now be 55. Okay, let's look at if we subtract or if we mentally take away 10. So we're at 45, taking away 10. We know we're going to go to 35 because it's right above. However, look at the digits, the 10s and the 1s. Which one is changed? When you go from 45 to take away 10, and you land on 35, what digit has changed? Has the tens digit changed or the ones digit? If you said the tens digit, you are correct. Again, you're taking one ten away from the four. So it's going to be a three. Thirty-five. Now, if I asked you to add one to the number forty-five, you would just go over one block. I'm going to ask what digit changes when you only add one. Does the ones digit change or the tens digit change? If you said the ones, you're correct. You're adding one to the number 45. So your number becomes 46. Beautiful. Now, what if I ask you to take away one? Again, which digit changes? Is it the ones digit or the tens digit? If you're taking away one. 45, take away one. You got it. The ones digit again changes. This time, it goes down by one. So the number is 44. So it's important to think about the digits. If you're adding 10, the tens digit is going to change. If you're adding 1, the ones digit is going to change. Same thing with subtraction. If you're taking away 10, the tens digit is going to change. It's going to go down by 10 or by 1, one group of 10. If you're subtracting by 1, the one's going to go down by 1. Okay? So let's practice by playing a game called Digit Detective. So to play a game Digit Detective, you need four pieces of scrap paper. And on the scrap paper, I need you to add a minus 1 to one piece, a minus 10 to one piece, a plus 1 to one piece, and a plus 10 to one piece. Okay, and this game is pretty easy. If you, when you start off, if you need to use your number grid in your place value mat, go for it. I'm going to use it just so I can show you, but the whole idea 
is to, to do this mentally. So once you're ready and you understand what you're doing, it's good to try to do it in your head. Mentally means in your head. So, first thing you need to do is have someone give you a number. Any number between 1 and 120 would probably be great. Okay? So, let's see. If someone gave me the number 76, and I'm going to use these little cards that we just made, and I'm going to pick one of them. And the card I picked said plus 1. So I'm going to add 1 to my number 76. So I know if I'm adding 1, the 1's digit is going to change. It's going to go up because I'm adding. It's going to go up by 1. So my 6 is going to turn into a 7. So let's use the number grid to see if I'm right. So we had 76. We added 1. 1 hop. It lands on 77. So I'm correct. All right. Let's have someone give you another number. So what if somebody said, ooh, 27. I'm going to pick one of your cards. This time I get minus 10. So again, I'm going to think, okay, if I'm taking 10 away, I know that my 10 digits going to change. Because I'm minusing, I know it's going to get smaller. So it's going to go down by 1. So what's 2 take away 1? 1, right? So my number 17. Let's check that out. I was on 27. I took away 10, so I'm going to hop up to the uh, hop right up above and I land on 17. So is that what I got? You got it. So I'm correct. Yay! All right, so let's do another one. I'm going to have someone tell me a number. The number is going to be 53. All right, so I got the minus one card. So I, again, know if I'm taking one away, I'm taking away from the ones place. So if it's three, I'm taking one away. Three take away one is going to be two. So this is going to change into 52. Let's see. I was on 53. I'm taking one away. So I'm going back one. And I landed on 52. It's pretty easy. So I really think you will not need the number grid and the place value mat eventually. You can start off with it and, and, then, and then take it away. I've got one more to do so I can show you using the number grid and the place value mat. So another number could be um, 85. All right, I'm going to pick a card. And I got plus 10. So I know if I'm adding 10... My tens digit is going to change. Because I'm adding, I know it's going to go up by 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. You're, remember, you're adding a group of 10. That's why it's in the tens place. So my number is 95. So let's try that. I was at 85. I added 10, and I jumped down to 95. Okay, if you don't believe me, watch. 85, 1 hop. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, I landed on 95. Every time, if you're adding 10 or subtracting 10, you're going to go up or down 1. Okay, 1 column. So, just have somebody call up a number. So let's do this one together. If I put these charts away and don't use them, so if somebody tells me the number 62, I'm going to pick a card. I got plus 1, so 62. I'm going to add 1 to the 1's digit. My number is going to be 63. Uh, 78. 78 minus 10. I know my 10's digit is going to change. So And because it's subtraction, it's going to go down. So my number would be 68. All right. Um, let's see. The number, another number would be 33. 33. I'm going to add 10. So my 10 digit is going to change. It's going to go up by 10. So 33. I'm going to add a 1 to the 3. So my number is going to be 43. Right? That's how you're going to play it. Someone's going to yell out a number. 
you're going to pick a card and you're going to either add or subtract 10 or 1. Really focus on your digit, though, the 10's digit or the 1's digit. Which one is going to change? Which one's going to go up or go down? Okay, and then you have uh, Math Journal page 182. So this is going to help you as well after you play the game. Write the answers, explain how you know. So again, number one is 84, take away 10. You're doing the same thing. You're going to try to mentally take away, take away 10. Two, find 10 more than the number 39. Three, add 10 to 42. Four, find 10 less than 97. Five, subtract 10 from 61. Six, 23 plus 10. And then it gets a little trickier. So now that's 75, take away 20. So remember, 10, 20, you're doing two. So here's 75, you're, you're gonna add two to the seven. Here's 56 minus 30, you're gonna take away three from the five. Just because it's not 10, it's, it's if you're counting by tens, you're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So any of those numbers, you're gonna take away, it's just like taking away a 10, but you're gonna take away two if it's a 20, three if it's a 30, four if it's a 40, okay? So it's not really any different. Uh, we have Math Journals, page 83. You, one and two is a challenge. I did not teach that lesson. So you can skip those or you can challenge yourself and try them. Okay, it's not gonna hurt you to try it. Uh, three, find the rule, find the missing number. We definitely did that at the, towards the beginning of the year. Um, number five, explain how you found the rule for problem four in your head. So how did you find this rule right here? What did you do to figure out what this rule is? All right, and then one more, Math Boxes, page 184. You know, it seems like a lot of work today. So 184, Math Boxes. Number one, which is bigger? One half, one quarter of the circle. So there's a circle, you're gonna divide it in a half and a quarter and figure out which one is bigger. Number two, I would like you to try it. It might be tricky for you because um, I did not teach that lesson. Uh, number three, Looks like a word problem, but you're going to fill in the chart. And you're going to label. This line right here is labeling that chart. All right, so you're probably going to use some tally marks, I would say. Let's see what it says. Complete the tally chart. Yep, so you're going to put some tally marks in here after you read, the, read how many. And then you're going to label the tally chart. Uh, four, write a question you could answer with this graph. So you're going to write a question that if you um, asked somebody this question they could look at this graph and answer it and then number five explain why this is not a triangle why is this not a triangle draw lines to make it a triangle that seems pretty simple all right i think that's it pretty long lessons today and a lot of work but i think you can do it keep up the great work post it to seesaw i can't wait to see your work have a great day